The compact size of the self-propelled Model 5000 and the absence of a tow vehicle pivot point at the hitch allow the Model 5000 to follow surface contours without gouging and to skim off the precise amount of oil or contaminated sand. The digger point is set from 0 to 6 inches deep to precisely skim away only the oil slabs and leave the uncontaminated sand. The loading paddles then carry the oil and soaked sand into the hopper and the groomer leaves the surface leveled and groomed. The Model 5000 is designed with depth control stops to allow the operator to hold a precise cutting depth for skimming off a layer of sand 1 quarter inch to 6 inches deep. Unlike loaders and other heavy equipment, the Model 5000 has a soft footprint and leaves a level it looks groomed more surface more like behind. a machine you'd see on an ice rink rather than a sandy beach. Along the Gulf Coast, crews are collecting sand using sifting machines dubbed sand bonies. Engineers say they can clean 50 tons of sand an hour, although it's uncertain how long it would take to clean hundreds of miles of beaches. Environmentalists are also fretting about potential harm to the ecosystem, but the company operating the machine says they're safe. We're screening the sand, pulling up the tar balls, uh, any liquid oil that we find, and bringing it into a hopper so that we can place it in piles for the sand uh, wash. This sand cleaning machine that's being set up here I think is going to be very helpful. Uh, we have the beach cleaning equipment that's out there, but once they clean up the sand, they've got to process that so they can put it back on the beach. The main concern is um, making sure that uh, this, this oil uh, you know, doesn't hit a direct impact. Is, I don't want to say it to go somewhere else, but nobody <laughs> wants it. But at least we've got some equipment now that we really convinced that that would keep the beach clean. Which could extend the sands of time a little longer in the race to clean up the oil. Haven Daily, The Associated Press. For spill cleanup along the water's edge, the screen frame is fitted with solid steel plates. As the machines are operated in the shallow water along the shoreline, the overhead conveyor system sweeps the crude oil along with the water into the hopper. The crude sinks to the bottom of the hopper while the water flows out over the top. Dealing with the spill has been a huge challenge in Louisiana and, and we've, we've been able to apply a number of innovative technologies that, that haven't been tried before in oil spills to, to protect passes, to protect marshes and to clean oil up after it's, it's gotten into marshes and onto beaches. If you've, if you've watched a hockey game, you've probably always enjoyed watching the Zamboni uh, clean the ice and make it all sparkling between the, uh, between the periods and this is, this is very similar. This is a vehicle that drives along the sand Pick, picks up a very thin layer of the sand, separates the sand and oil, and then puts the sand back. Um, and that's been quite effective in, in beaches if we can get it um, onto the oil before the oil is mixed deeply into the sand. What we call the Charrington Beach Cleaners. Uh, Essentially, they are used for beach cleaning all around the world and around the country under normal conditions. And we found an application for them here in Grand Isle. In the morning, the, uh, the shoreline contamination assessment team will look at the beach and determine whether or not there are tar balls, tar patties, um, and that sort of thing. And we identify which sections of the beach uh, would best be able to be cleaned up using the Charrington Beach Cleaners. The Charrington Beach Cleaners will go anywhere from a half an inch to mostly two inches down into the ground and actually collect up the tar balls and the tar patties. At that point in time, they're collected in the back of the Charrington Beach Cleaner and then uh, they basically are uh, unloading in the contaminated piles that you see here. In standard operating mode, the Charrington Beach Cleaner lifts the sand and debris up onto a woven wire screen. 
the screen bed oscillation, which is turned off when skimming oil slabs, aids in separation as the sand falls clean and fluffy through the screen and back to the surface. The tar balls and any other debris larger than the selected screen hole size are then loaded into the hopper. For situations where project specs require tar balls less than 3 8 of an inch to be removed, Charrington offers a brush attachment option to essentially grind up the tiny tar balls and leave behind a powder soft, screened clean beach. The Model 5000 comes standard with halogen night running lights. Charrington also offers an LED package which provides higher intensity illumination. 